How's it going? The Ink Doctor here, and here's my first cosplay breakdown on this channel. I've done one cosplay breakdown before, and that was on my group channel, We Are JK. Go subscribe. But so I figured I'd break down my favorite Doctor's cosplay, number seven. Uh, that's not seven, but anyway. So we're gonna get to the basics first. So obviously, the first thing you'll notice is the umbrella. So, the Seventh Doctor carried three different umbrellas during his time. I've got the most well-known one, the question mark umbrella. He also had a bamboo handle umbrella, and he also carried around the Sixth Doctor's rainbow umbrella in his first episode. Fun fact about the bamboo umbrella, it later reappeared in the Eleventh Doctor episode, The Journey to the Center of the Jars. But I got mine from Lavazzi. I had an Abbey Shot one that I paid way too much for, probably before, but uh, that is now my brother's, as I mentioned in my previous video. So, moving on, let's get to the jacket. My jacket is a suede, uh, pale or gray colored one from the site Cause Daddy. Like, I do. This is a good affordable replica, but if you wanted to go more expensive, you could get the Baron Boutiques one, which is the most screen accurate one. I've seen a couple people wear it and I kind of want to get it myself, but uh, we'll see about that. He also had the brown the jacket you can see me wearing in this picture, and he, in the T, oh, I'll get to the TV movie later, but basically, yeah, it, there's this one and the brown one. Another thing is the scarf. You have three different options for the scarf. He wore a paisley cloth one most of the time, uh, basically, this one I got from eBay for 20 bucks. Not very good quality, but if you want to stay cheap, I recommend. There's also the Lavazzi one, which is a pretty good replica on the market, and there's also one on Etsy if you wanted to go custom. Uh, he also wore a tartan one in T Time of the Ronnie for his first episode, which I believe they removed because it, they thought it was a bit too on the nose with him being Scottish. But I digress. Now, next up is the layers. I promise you I'm not flashing you, except with my question marks. But he wore this, uh, like, sort of turquoise, yellow, and red question mark zigzag jumper. Uh, mine isn't exactly screen accurate because it is the Lavazzi one, and, like, it's really hard to, like, get a screen accurate one unless you want to learn how to knit and knit it yourself. But the Lavazzi one is good if you want to go the, the uh, easy route. But uh, next up is the trousers. So these are my new ones. These are a pair of tartan ones I got from Amazon for I believe like 29 bucks, I think. But uh, yeah, they do the job well. Like the ones he wore in the show were like a green, beige, red, sort of like tartan tweed Scottish trousers. It's almost impossible to find a good accurate pair, but if you can find one, uh, hit me up. So, uh, for the shoes, he wore white and brown wingtip shoes. I got these from Amazon for 50 bucks. Not a bad deal. Like, they're not exactly screen accurate because they don't have the brown stripe going along, but they work pretty freaking well, you know? Uh, other bits about it is the pocket watch. Like, I don't have a screen accurate one. Well, I did recently order one, and that'll be here in like a couple weeks maybe. But right now I've got the uh, regular, uh, the uh, chameleon arch one. I couldn't remember the name for some reason. But uh, also to go with it is this uh, snake chain for it. Like, there's a couple different ways to wear it on your lapel, like you could have, if you have the slit right here, you could put it on the other side, or you could have it like this. It's, uh, however you want to do it, you know? And fine, uh, some of the final bits, of course the hat. This is a Panama hat, I can't remember where I bought it, I think I bought it from a basic Panama hat site. This one I had to, like, really curve the brim up and, uh, try and get it to look good. So it kind of looks like the Season 24 hat, because he had three different hats throughout his tenure. Season 24, which was actually his own that he brought to his audition and screen test, and apparently John Nathan Turner said, 
I like that hat. I wanted that in Doctor Who. And he's like, well, if, I, you, if the hat's going to be in Doctor Who, I'm going to be coming with it. So I guess that's how he got the role. But he wore this for the season 24 hat for uh, the entirety of season 24, of course. Then he got a brand new, very clean, crisp looking hat in season 25. And then finally he got this uh, darker, more curled up brim one in season 26. And he also had that one for the TV movie. Along with the hat uh, are the bandanas. I got one on my hat and I got one in my pocket. Uh, these ones are the Lavazzi ones. They're, I paid like 40 bucks for each one. Uh, it's expensive for America, but uh, you know, do what you gotta do. If you wanna go a different route, there's the Stephen Ricks ones that he makes. They're one-sided, but they do the job well. I also have the Stephen Ricks brown ones because those are the only ones available anywhere. Trust me, I've checked. But these ones work pretty freaking well and they look good on my hat. And I believe that's it. Uh, but the TV, for the TV movie outfit, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, basically, all you need, if you're already an 11 Talker Tweed cosplayer, all you need is a Tweed jacket, you need a red waistcoat, black tie, white button down, and like green checkered trousers. And I believe he wore the same shoes. I don't know. I I've never checked. But he also wears the uh, season 26 hat with it. And he also saw a screwdriver for the TV movie because he didn't have the umbrella, even though he offered to bring it to set. And they said, no, we don't want it. I'm like, you just, that, that just took five points off your movie. Or 20, in fact. But there's also, if you want to do other options too, there's also the uh, audio slash new version adventures look, which is basically same jacket, same scarf, uh, but with a silver paisley tie instead and a pair of beige trousers. And if you want to add one on, sometimes you would wear a smiley face pin on his lapel. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble on about 7th Doctor cosplay, and please join me next time when I go over a 4th Doctor look. Thank you, and have a good day.